Look at how long the stems are on these beautiful ranunculus. not done yet is take you on a quick tour of the shop so I'm going to do that now uh, we've had an unexpectedly slow day today which is fine so this is a perfect opportunity to show you what we have done so I'm gonna flip around here so that you guys can see but I'm really excited so we come out walk in done window graphics here we walk into our beautiful space this is what it looks like so obviously still a bit of a work in progress we kind of just jumped right into things and I have a lot of ideas for what this is gonna look like going forward but this is our hot plant corner um, we don't have an actual like garden center in town anymore other than like a Canadian tire or like Walmart garden center I wanted to bring in some live plants um, and some house plant things. So here we have uh, potted herbs that we partnered with another local farm to bring these. We have a collection of uh, monsteras, baby junipers, single herbs here, um, a local couple that brings in candles. This is our rack of lots of things. Um, so we have things like bags and uh, aprons, overstock. Uh, we have fresh lavender in here uh, from another farm that just grows lavender. That is what they do. Collections of beautiful pots for the home. And then some really cute succulent pots too. Yep. <laughs> and uh, things like orchid food. A collection of as well really beautiful cards and prints from Canadian artists. Right now we're clearing out the last of some of our tulip bunches. Our cash counter, it was really important us, to us to make sure that everything here was accessible. Obviously having Joseph we wanted to make sure people that have any sort of mobility devices have lots of room to just pull up to the cash counter here um, and have you know, accessible options there. We have a wrapping station here. Washroom, which has an employees only sign because I don't want to clean public washrooms. Uh, over here, we have kind of a gifty section. <laughs> I, I laughed at the video. I don't like referencing other flower farmers videos, but I did want to say this. I laughed at Serena and Ian's video when they said that they couldn't move their dried flowers because I can't keep dried flowers in stock. So we had these drawers full of dried flowers. We had this rack full of dried flower posies. I had a crate here that was full of large dried flower posies. Those are all gone. And our dried flower posies are $22 for something like this. 
So we sell this for $22. And oftentimes, because one, we have like clientele that this is what they're looking for when they come in. Um, but often they'll come in and they'll grab dried flowers. And then we keep a host of like little vessels and things as well that they can put their dried flower bunches in. And interestingly enough, dried flower arrangements, another thing that sells really, really well. And then over in this corner here, this is our kind of shady side. It doesn't get nearly as much uh, direct sun. And so in here we keep a lot of our indoor plants, succulents, snake plants, uh, cacti, things like that, that don't like to be in direct sun. Uh, but this, this is a cast iron bed frame, okay? This is our flower bed. <laughs> I think I'm so funny, uh, but it wasn't my idea. It was actually Jen's idea. This is her bed, and I'm going to give credit where credit's due, but I would like to have a sign made for it to go there. Um, and then this is our collection of herb planters and uh, pepamirias. I think that's how you pronounce it, but these are beautiful. Um, so, so beautiful. We also have a beautiful basement. So when you go down... There's a very short basement down there where we keep overstock, not a big deal. And then as we keep walking towards the back, we now have beautiful workstations. Uh, so our kitchenette for like washing buckets, designated space with countertops, more rolly carts for things are all here. The uh, garage fridge has made it in. This, this is my favorite. We did that with a cricket. <laughs> We're getting a second fridge in July and it's going to say what incarnation on it. Uh, here we keep all of the flowers that don't need to necessarily go into the cooler. Uh, so things like, you know, your mom's, uh, the Italian ruscus, Israel ruscus, things like that. And then now we have actual tables for working on, which is really really exciting and then our wrapping station so yes we are foam free the oasis i have uh the only thing that we use flower foam for are casket sprays and so i do have oasis down there for that but otherwise we set this up this was our old market stand from back in the day we set this up so that we have our wrapping paper for our fresh floral and our dried floral here delivery boxes are here tissue paper is up there those have to get made. Um, stickers, business cards, extra ribbon, stamps, pens, pencils, things like that all go there. Overstock over here. Uh, this is right now where we have all of our vases and things. We're just kind of restocking everything after Mother's Day. Uh, these were these boxes here with dried flowers were full. So this is one thing we are trying to work on restocking right now. So some of our varieties of dried flowers may not be available for a bit. I would really, really like more dried flowers. And then this is baby jail for Joseph because he needs a place to come when he's here. And we also have a back room. So this is coffee nook. We have a fridge. <laughs> we bought Faith a hard hat. <laughs> Um, and then we purchased a few of these extra rolly carts um, from somebody off Facebook Marketplace that was selling them. Uh, we have utility closets, etc. And then uh, another flower shop that had gone out of business was doing a sale. And so Jen picked up these tall, tall flower fridge buckets, which we're going to use for sunflower harvests. And uh, yeah. So that's like finally... The shop tour we like i said i've got plans we've only been open a month and essentially we were gonna do a grand opening never did mother's day it was kind of our grand opening and that's fine this section behind me here where these cards are so when we get our second cooler in it's got three doors it's going to have a light and it's a legitimate flower cooler as opposed to a coke fridge over in the back uh, this is going to be our shopping cooler. So we'll actually be able to keep floral in here at all times for customers to come and shop. And then that cooler in the back is just going to be turned into overstock, uh, which I think is overall a pretty smart idea. And eventually as well over here, I would like to 
get backsplash put up, extra shelves so that we can have, you know, shelving up there. We do keep things like, you know, quick dip and uh, holding solutions and things like that for the flowers because as you do, I think, start to move out of just straight flower farming and into flower farming retail, you do need to have not the chemicals, but the, I guess they're chemicals, the chemicals to keep, you know, your flowers good. Um, otherwise, the majority of what we use is still uh, craft papers and chicken wire and our stickers and the same branding that we developed as a part of the market is a part of the business model in here. So I'm really, really happy with this space. I'm really happy with the floor. I think that we have the most beautiful floor and I'm very, very excited about the green that we have on this gorgeous, gorgeous cash counter that Jen's husband and his father made for us. The green is called bonsai <laughs> and I think it's beautiful and uh, it's been going really well. We're, we're so, so happy to finally be open and I think it's just like, it's really the culmination of a dream that I didn't think was okay to have. I didn't know I had this dream really until we kind of got, got right into it. And I really love this dream. I think it's so fun. So, and also I just, I love these. So I know there's a lot of you who follow us that are, you know, in Canada as well. Um, there are things now that I have in the shop that I do actually have the ability to put online. And so if any of our giftware items you would like to see on the website, you know, we've got a lot of these really beautiful cards and you can't necessarily purchase these through the artists that make them. I also, you know, have stuff like the pottery and the candles and all of these sorts of things. And so I'm more than happy to kind of accommodate those as well uh, because I can ship. And that's really exciting. So uh, we can definitely do that. I'm going to go before people outside think I am weird for talking into my cell phone because most people don't know I also YouTube this journey. So it's nice when you're small.